Welcome to Croxton Family Racing. I'm Adam Croxton, and with me, Chip Monkington. Thanks, Adam. It's great to be here. League of Champions looking over our top competitors for teams and individuals. Teams were awarded points based on their seeding. They also receive points for the round that they progressed to. And they are also awarded points for the total individual points in their team scored, divided by the number of cars on their team, divided by the number of team races, including the seeding rounds. And looking at the top five teams right now, in first place is Mock and Go. Second is Doublet, third High Five, fourth the Firestarters, and fifth True Blue. In sixth through 10th place, we have the clear winners, the Vipers, Team Honda Toyota, the Stingrays, and 1-0. The colors beside the car let you know how they're performing for their team. Right you are, Chip. Tied in 11th place are Code Red and Sixers. In 13th, Little Italy, 14th, Smash Brothers, and 15th, Precious Metals. And we have a three-way tie for 16th between Team Porsche, Team Mazda Subaru, and Police Squad, with Team Ferrari in 19th and Team Nissan in 20th. That they are, Chip. It's uh, interesting to see some of these teams that you would expect to be higher on the list down here as far as 16th. I agree, Adam. And 21st is the MC East. 22nd is Team Audi. And 23rd is Engine Exposure. And 24th is Team Aerodynamic. And in 25th is the 40s and 50s. In 26th through 30th, we have Team Lotus, 7-9 Split, Marvel and DC, the Carts, and Spoiler Alert. In 31st through 35th is the Corvettes, Team Ford, the Mustangs, the Vans, and the Oddballs. I think a lot of us around here expect some of these teams down here at the bottom to do really well in the next event, the Demolition Derby. Definitely, Adam. 36th through 39th here is Air It Out, The British Are Coming, Star Wars Fandom, and Dirty 30s and 3 for 3 are tied for 39th. 41st through 45th is the Passenger Transports, Star Wars Concepts, Team Volkswagen, Four Horsemen, and the Challengers. Also in 45th is Team Lamborghini. 47th through 50th is Team Pontiac, Big Blocks, Funshine, and Team Chevy. Let us know in the comments who your favorite team is, or maybe who the one you think is going to be most likely to win the whole season. Well, it doesn't look good so far for seeing double. The early teams to late 20s, 80 and up, Fire Trucks, and the Beasts. And 51st through 55th. That is true, Chip. Tied for 56th, we have three teams, Old Timers, Camaros, and the Flickering Flames. In 59th, Team Jeep, and in 60th, the Heavy Haulers. And down at the bottom of our table, we have four teams tied for 61st, the Off-Roaders, the Ford Sedans, the Gran Torinos, and the Thunderbirds. And way down in the dungeon, we have four teams tied for 65th, including Medical Emergency, Military, Pickup Trucks, and Team Jaguar. I just can't wait to see them do demolition and wreck everything. I know what you mean, Chip. Moving on to individual scoring points. It's decided by how many points they've scored individually divided by the maximum points possible. Correct, Amundo. Dark green is an A score. Light green is a B score. Yellow is a C score. Orange is a D score. And red is an F score. And if you're looking for a car and don't see it on this list, it is because it hasn't scored a single point yet this season. But stay tuned, because there are more races to come. I sure hope they do, Adam. There are many cars left off this list. Taking a closer look at the top 30, we see Riveted, Forward Force, Red Time at Taxi, and Blue Roadster Bite right at the top. They're tied for first. We got several tied for fifth. And another large group tied for 25th. A lot of bunching right now, but I imagine it'll spread out as the races and the days go by. Right you are, Chip. The cars may be bunched now, but as the races continue and new races are formed, we'll see the differentiation amongst the cars and which cars are more adaptable to each track. Those that are more adaptable are going to stay at the top ones will move down. Absolutely, and the only cars that'll get to compete in the individual title run will be those that get a passing grade, 60% and up. And it's good to note some of these cars are already locked into their number as they will not be competing anymore in the tournament since their team has been knocked out. That's why it's always good to get while the getting's good. Couldn't have said it better myself, Chip. Very few of these cars will have a chance to improve their scores before the team tournament is over. And once it is over, they will be locked in place. Anybody with a passing grade will be able to compete in the individual honor to be king of this track. And the battle for top spot continues. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. Comment and share. From Croxton Family Racing, I'm Chip Monkington. And I'm Adam Croxton signing off for Croxton Family Racing. Thanks for watching. Stay with us for the round of 32. Stay safe, be free.